Hello and welcome to Artisan Upholstery Studio. This is part two of the Parsons Chair Tutorial video. If you missed part one, you're going to want to go back and check it out because we padded this chair up, we got it prepped, and we retouched the legs. So if you want to know the secrets on how we did that, you're going to want to go back and check that out. I am going to start by measuring to cut my fabric. Measuring it at the widest part at the front to go under the frame on both sides. Now, because I'm a little bit short on fabric here to do two chairs, uh, I'm going to probably need to stitch a little bit onto the bottom of this, but we won't see it. It'll just be to pull through the back. All right, so after you cut that piece to the size that you measured and determined, you are going to, if you have a pattern, uh, figure out where the center of the front is on your frame. I'm going to put one staple in the front. I'm pulling it fairly tight. Tuck it in at the back. Make sure that it's centered and straight, that your pattern is straight. Roll it around to the side and put one staple in the side and another in the other side. So at the back here we're going to make some cuts. You've got to find that post which is the back leg and comes up here and we have to cut around it so that we can tuck some of the fabric through the back here and then the rest around the side here. So here's my post. I can feel it with my index finger and my middle finger. You're going to get a Sharpie marker. And find that post. Mark it on either side of your fabric, just like that. So you're going to find the two dots, each dot representing the sides of your post. So you want to make a V careful not to cut through that. We can cut through it now. And you want to go on a 90 degree angle from the edge of your fabric up toward that V. And you can do the same on the other side. All right, I know this part is scary, but if you've got the correct placement of that, of the frame there, of that post, you should be okay cutting it. All right, you're gonna shove this through the back there. Pull it through. And you can staple this onto the back. So I've done it very, very close here, but I can actually rip this off. That allows me to roll this around and staple it on the back. And then you can do the same on the other side. So we can't see that seam across here and there was enough to reach around and come around the corner here. So that worked out perfectly and we saved a bunch of fabric doing that. So we can staple it at the back. And now I'm going to secure the front edge. So we want to smooth it out and you want to pull it to the side and down on an angle. Okay. 
and just put one staple in this corner. Then you're going to pull it the other way to the side and down. It's very important to get this nice and um, tight in here. Also be aware that if you have a pattern, you're going to want it to line up at the front. I'm going to move on to the sides, pull it back and down, and forward and down. Perfect. So now that we've got all uh, three sides secured, we've got three staples in the front, three in the sides, we're ready to put the rest of our staples in. So pull this down nice and smooth across here. I'm going to make sure that these are all lined up. A few staples in. You should only need about three in between those other staples. If you need more than three, it's probably because you haven't pulled it tight enough this way. Alright, so we can secure the back here. What we want to do is cut on an angle from the outside of this post to the inside of this corner here. Let me show you a little better. So from the outside to the inside. Right up until that corner. Can trim it down a little, roll that under. that staple in. And then this gets trimmed down slightly, tucked up, and around to the back. Next we do the other side. Again, from the back to the front on a 45 degree angle, right up into that corner. Trim it down, roll it around and secure it. Roll this around. Secure it at the back. Perfect. All right, so now at the front corner on the side, we're gonna do the same thing. From the front of the chair, to that corner. And we can go ahead and do the other side as well. From the front of the chair into that mm -hmm. angle right there, into that corner. So now from the side, you're going to pull it and make it nice and tight up on this corner up here. Pull it down and you're going to staple it about a half an inch inside the frame there. Right there, that's what that looks like. So I've got two staples right here, but a half an inch in from that corner. So this is too much fabric in here. It's going to cause a lot of bulkiness. So we want to trim it out and you want to go about a half an inch or a finger's width in and just inside those staples there, like so. Now we can trim this down and tuck it up and under. 
Make sure you're not cutting away too much. You just want about a half an inch hanging down that you can roll around and tuck up. That looks great. So now this comes down and over top of that. <clears throat> And we're going to cut from the outside. We're going to cut from the outside to the inside here. And we're going to roll this up and secure it just with one staple. And I will show you how we're going to finish that after. There we go. So one staple here. It's pretty inconspicuous. We're going to cover that up later. And we're going to do the same on this corner. Now that we have the seat all ready, we can move on to the back. So once again, we're going to measure the widest part of the chair, which is up here. So I'm going to see if that will work. It's a little bit short. I can probably do it, but it's going to be easier to just join a piece of fabric to the bottom. So that's what I'm going to do. That's going to be so much easier. All right. So, starting at the back on the top, you can probably center it just by looking at your pattern along the top here. So, once you have your staple up at the top here, you can pull this down and shove it under into that rail there, making sure that if you have a pattern, it is lined up. And pull it around the side and put one staple in. And then do the other side. Now we can make these cuts at the bottom. Find each edge of the post and mark it with your Sharpie marker. Should be able to shove that through. I'm going to pull this down along here and put one staple here at the back, right here, and pull it down. From this staple you're pulling down, and just one, and then you're pulling it up.
So now we can staple it across the top. You want to pull it to the side, get all the lumps out. And through the other side. Good. So once you have those three staples in, you can put the rest in in between here. Just pull it gently. And again on this side. Nice. So then we can put all of these staples in between the three that we have here. Use my regulator to push this fabric in nicely. That can stay up. Uh, this one's gonna fold underneath like that, tuck up and under. And this, we're gonna trim away the part that we stitched on. Fold it around nicely, nice and tight so that you can't stick your finger in there. And there you go. Let's do the other side. Top corners next. You're going to pull it up and around nice and tight here and put a staple to secure that. All right, so then you might need to remove this staple here if you've come in too close to it because you want to be able to get this around in a nice neat pleat up here. So we're going to trim a lot of that extra away and you can trim it leave a half an inch and in here leave at least a half an inch so that you have all this extra. And you'll notice that I Put this off to the side. I didn't meet it up right down here because we don't want that to show when we put our outside back on. So I've kind of come in in the frame a little bit. All right. If you haven't yet secured it down here, you can now. and you can trim it all away. Any extra on the back here you could trim off. Oh, we are lining up the pattern again along the top edge. Pull it taut this way and that way again. I don't want any looseness. Then you're going to take some cardboard and line it up with that edge nicely. 
so that you have a nice straight edge at the top. Okay, so we're going to pad this up at the back using a little bit of bonded polyester. Right, so you can trim that down so it's nice and even. All right, so once you do that, you can secure it at the bottom. And you'll have to make cuts from the uh, back edge of the frame into this corner up here. So it, like this. And like this on a 45 on a 45 degree angle so that you can roll that under and tuck that up now we're going to use metal tack strips to close this up and I'll show you how to do that okay so these are metal tack strips they look a little scary they're very sharp and pointy what you want to do is line them up with the side to, to see how big you need to make them. And then they just bend and break where you need them to be. So line them up with the outside edge of the chair. Poke the holes through. Fold it under right here, fold it around, and you're going to fold the whole thing around. And get your mallet and you're going to pound it down. Flip it around and do the other side. Okay, just a couple more things to deal with and then we're done. So we're gonna fold these last little bits up here. And just put one small staple in the corner. And the same back on this side. As promised, I'm going to show you how to cover those staples up. I'm just going to use a little stud right over top of that staple. It's sparkly and glamorous and it covers up the staple nicely. I think it's a nice way to finish off the chair.
So this is my finished chair. I think it looks terrific. I hope yours does too. If you found this tutorial at all helpful, please don't forget to like it and subscribe to my channel. I have a lot of amazing projects coming up. You're not going to want to miss it. I promise. Thanks for watching. Bye.